Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for the 28th of October through to the 3rd of November. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe and comment if that's what you'd like to do. You know I love and appreciate you all for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So Libra, let's take a look at the week ahead. Let's see what spirit your guides, your angels would like to bring through for Libra, please. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libras. This is where you're at currently, Libra. This is what's below you, what's behind you, what's above you and what is coming in toward you. So let's take a look at your first card. The Knight of Michael. And the keywords here are strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. And it says, time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So I'm seeing that there may be some sudden changes happening this week for you, Libra. I feel that there's going to be some big drastic changes for some of you, actually. And it's going to come from your own will. You're going to be putting these things into motion. You're going to be having the communication that you need to have with significant people or a significant other. Because you want to get things moving, you want to start to get things moving in the right direction for you. I'm feeling that you are going to be strategic about this and very committed to it as well. So this has the potential, whatever this is for you, it is going to be different for everybody. But whatever it is for you, Libra, there's going to be a lot of success around this because you're going to be very committed to, uh, to, to this particular thing or to this particular person. You're going to be thinking with your mind. Your heart is there. Your heart is open, I feel. Um, I am seeing that you need to be very strategic about this and plan your moves. And so once you do that, then you'll be going full force ahead and you'll have a wonderful outcome for you. I am also seeing a lot of communication with a person that's significant in your life. And the message that I'm receiving from spirit is that they heard you loud and clear or they're going to hear you loud and clear. So what you want to get across is definitely going to get across to them this week. Okay, so how you communicate in the action that backs it up. This is going to be very forward moving for you in your life and potentially in the relationship with this particular person as well. So let's take a look at your second card and message. And it's the eyes of beauty. And it says positive expectations and clarity. It's a beautiful energy here, Libra, because you're going to have some positive experiences this week. Perhaps you didn't expect them to be positive or positive communication or experiences or an event or a circumstance. But that's what I see happening for you here. There's a clarity as well, a clarity of a situation or a clarity of mind. So you're really on point this week, Libra. I feel like you're going to be moving into something um, or clearing up a particular um, relationship or area of your life and getting very clear and open about things. And the other person involved here is going to uh, hear exactly what you have to say. They're going to hear you out with this. And there's going to be some wonderful positive changes because of what you say or how you go about things this week. Let's take a look at your next card. And it says, have courage to ask for and accept help. So this may be you, Libra. You need to um, need to have assistance in some way. This also may be someone else. It could be vice versa, someone else you're seeing. And they need to accept help. And perhaps you have a conversation to them about this. It says, asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. So there's this wonderful give and take energy, um, a lovely, a lovely warm 
um, energy and heartfelt energy I'm feeling here between you and another person. So this communication I feel is going to work out in your favor. It's going to strengthen the relationship between you or this you and this person, or it's going to clear things up for you. So you're going to have a new mindset on this and therefore your actions going forward. It may be different to how they have been previously. Let's take a look at your next card. And we have the crystal card and it says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So there is positivity coming in for your wonderful, abundant energy here. I feel that this week is about getting clear, getting clarity about someone or a situation in your life. It may just be an internal thing for you, Libra. For some of you, that's also the case. But no matter what it is, don't be afraid to ask for help and also keep an eye out for any people around you, significant others that may need assistance in some way and be open to giving them that. There's also an energy here of remaining very connected to spirit and having faith and hope and remain centered in your um, in your in your being because this is important with the connection to spirit so you've got wonderful things coming up on the horizon for you here Libra even if you cannot see it at the moment let's take a look at where you are currently so we have the king of swords so we have um, another swords energy here Libra this is uh, your card your energy being air so you're very on point with things here. Definitely the King of Swords is a mentor. So some of you may be involved with a person who's helping you and assisting you in some way or you toward them. Also, the King of Swords energy is very analytical. Even though I see this week that your heart center is open, you are very much in your mind, getting clear about things and being strategic. The energy that was coming through here with the Knight of Michael. And when you have this clarity of mind and you have planned it all out, then you're going to go for it. There's going to be a success, assured success. That's the message I'm getting from Spirit for you, Libra. And we have another Swords energy, the Queen of Swords. So this energy is coming in from your past and around you presently as well for some of you. So this queen is very receptive, have, has possibly had some difficulties in the past um, and has used these difficulties to strengthen her character. Okay, so this is all representing you this week, Libra. So you're coming from a very strong place because of the experiences that you have had in the past. And so very on point with your communication, your, th your thinking about things and your action moving forward um, to get things very precise, clear cut, tie off loose ends or get things moving in a way that you want. Let's take a look at your immediate past. So we have the world. This can indicate travel. There's also a message here for someone about the wholeness of something, a completion, but it's been a wholeness. Something's come to fruition. It may have been something large or small, but there is a completion that's happened recently in your past that was healing or it was a completion and a wholeness, which is a really lovely vibe. So something has happened here where you were able to manifest something in your life and perhaps that was unexpected or it was an energy that you were not um, anticipating fully. OK, but it did come to fruition and it was quite there's a, it's not a nice balance here and also moving into a new cycle in your life. They're also telling me that for some of you, you're also moving into a brand new energy. So starting something new and that's exciting, um, I feel for you. So let's take a look at what is above you. We have the Page of Cups, having more fun, being in the moment, being very creative with what you say and also with how you go about things, um, your actions this week. This is also someone younger than you around you at the present time. It could be a child or a youth, someone just younger than you though, it may be a partner or a friend. And I'm seeing that this person is very significant in your life at this time. There may be a water sign. I am also seeing that there's a joyful energy in your heart. So even though we've got a lot of intellectual energy going on here, a lot of thoughtfulness and clarity of mind Libra this week, I am seeing that there's your heart center here and it's opening to new possibilities of love or new possibilities in the workplace or in another area of your life that resonates for you, Libra. So your heart is opening up to new possibilities, which is lovely. And we have the Knight of Swords, which is the same card as the Knight of Michael. So definitely going full force ahead towards something or someone. You're very directed 
there's a directed energy here. You know exactly what you're doing. You're very on point. You're going to look at the pitfalls though. It's very important to look at the pitfalls here because there are pros and cons to every situation. So once you do that, then you're going to be moving full force ahead, chasing after something or someone. This may be someone else coming toward you as well, um, Libra. That may be the case for some of you. But generally, this energy is very, um, very positive when you weigh up your options and how to go about things, which I'm seeing you have done because you're coming through as the King of Swords. So before you take this very precise um, action or have this very, um, very deliberate conversation or how you interact with others, you have thought about it. You've thought about it very fully. And so this comes from that past experience that I was touching on before. So this week's going to be very interesting for you, Libra. I see a wonderful week ahead. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.